These are my own thoughts. I say, personally, this is me. Personally, I personally think that the verse in question that we just read, I think it's self-explanatory. In other words, it doesn't require the need of fancy exegesis to understand its central meaning. And so I supply what I think is the basic central meaning, which is why it's in bold in my commentary. God the Father is the one who causes the Holy Spirit to, quote, issue from its place of origin vis-a-vis -vis believers being influenced by the Spirit's presence, as in regards to, that's what vis-a-vis -vis means, as in regards to or, or in respects to um, believers being influenced by the Spirit's presence, right? God is the source. He's the cause of the Holy Spirit issuing forth. But I say not necessarily in relation to some sort of creation aspect of the Spirit. So understand my careful distinction. God doesn't create the Holy Spirit and then send him to the believers. So the Father is the source, but he is not the, um, he does not form the, um, the creation. So, um, you know, Unitarians might discuss uh, the fact that Jesus is the chief of God's creation. He's the primary um, head of creation because he's the first creature brought into existence by God through whom God then creates the rest of the world. But Jesus himself is still this creature, this this man, this, this being who is endowed with um, God-like powers or... In, 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 in endowed with godhood, uh, you know, deified um, to become the God Man. Um, in other words, he's not one with God in in essence, in 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 his true nature. The same thing with the Holy Spirit. In Unitarian discussions, the Unitarian is often relegated to either a force of God, like a power that can shoot from his fingertips, like, like, pardon this this um, reference, crude, but it's the only one that comes to mind. In Star Wars: The Return of the Jedi, the Emperor, you know, the the really big bad guy, the big boss baddie, he shoots. Um, I think they're purple lightning uh, bolts from his fingertips to attack Luke Skywalker when he's fighting Darth Vader in near the final scene. I'm star sorry if I spoiled the movie for you if you haven't seen it, right? It's, I mean, the movie came out in 1983. If you haven't seen it yet, what you've been waiting for? So, in the Unitarian model, the Holy Spirit's almost like the, 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 um, the um, lightning shooting from the fingertips of the Emperor. The Holy Spirit is a force to be reckoned with. It's a power from God. Uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses are fond of describing the Holy Spirit as, as this impersonal force um, that God can send forth to do his bidding. And the picture that pops into my mind is uh, the emperor shooting uh, you know, those lightning bolts from his fingertips. Um, the Unitarian model is a little more... Um, reverent and not giving God just his impersonal force uh, role or um, uh, description. They like to say that the Holy Spirit is the is the spirit of God himself, much like Ariel is a living spirit. He's a human being, but I've got the spirit in me. And so it's not an impersonal force. I don't speak of my spirit as an impersonal force, like my mind or my, my soul. It's not impersonal. It's very much personal. It's a part of who I am. And so the spirit of God is, is the personality of God. It's the thought processes of God. It's the it's the very soul of God, the the the, the personality of God, the uh, you know, God's life force, if you want to call it that. Um, but in regards to this issue of where's the origin of the Holy Spirit, in the Unitarian model, which the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are going to fall under that uh, category because they're non-Trinitarian, we still have to have this discussion on the origin of the Holy Spirit. Does God create the Holy Spirit? Is it something that issues forth from his fingertips, right? In the, in, the, in the emperor example, I think it's its origin is with the emperor's evil power over the dark side of the force itself. So the, that the, 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 the lightning bolts are created by his own dark power, his own um, um, evil desire to hurt Luke Skywalker in that moment. Um, but is it the same with God? Is he... Is he causing the Holy Spirit to issue forth. When when we talk about this Greek word that we're going to look at it here in a second, is it that the, that the that the Spirit goes forth um, as what we say passively? He has no choice in the matter, right? Is he sent forth in that respect?
Thank you.